Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the first part of this sort of Mech HQ battle tech against the bot sort of narrative campaign. No idea how well we're going to do. More, I think it'd probably be more accurate to say how bad we're going to do because I've uh, basically just been learning this uh, program the past couple of days, so I'm very new to it. And I've only been playing Battletech for around a year, and we're going to be playing mainly narratively focused, so we're not going to be doing a lot of min-maxing. But well, we might start doing some once we get the ground, once we've got this hit the ground running kind of thing. If we manage to hit the ground running, big F. But yeah, just thought I'd get a wee disclaimer out of the way. Um, yeah, there's going to be a couple of things I'm may, may definitely going to make mistakes. But yeah, I thought we'd do something a wee bit different today. I wanted to play a wee bit of uh, Mech HQ, focusing on narrative, and just see what we do, see what we have some fun. We're going to start a new campaign. I'm thinking we're going to do... Uh, succession Wars, probably just before the start of the Fourth Succession War, just before the Helm, Helm Memory Core, even though the Helm Memory Core doesn't really start to get used for, I think it's roughly 10 years, I thought we'd sort of do the sort of apex, the sort of generics sort of starting point. Uh, I think uh, 3025 will probably be a good year for us to start. Um, yeah, just bog standard secession wars. I have went and pulled up. I used my. Ba -ba -ba, have I got. I don't think I've got that specific box here. I've got this one. I've got all my models magnetized in. This one here. Well, this one. You see, the models are magnetized. They're not falling out. They're not falling out. But that's the Alpha Strike one. Uh, it's got all my models in the Alpha Strike one. But. In the basic starter set, which I think I've got it somewhere, I think it's there, underneath a couple of things, um, you get a £10, oh it's not a £10, the $20 voucher, I've used that $20 voucher um, to buy some PDFs which I've got in the background which we're just going to use to speed things up a wee bit for one of them. Um, one is the record sheets for the Succession War, so if we're uh, looking at a uh, vehicle and I feel it's just if we just want to quickly jump right it's a javelin we're looking at the javelin okay we'll just pretend that's the right one boom we're looking at the javelin and I just feel like it's much nicer to look at there sometimes than it is in Mech HQ and the other one I've got is we've got I got a time of war we're not going to be using that today because we've got a lot of setup to do but if we ever wanted to go through this and sort of generate some characters for us to transfer over and use the GM mode to put in our game. Like it'd be really good for us to do for our commander, our founder. Um, well I've got that as an option for next time but we've got that much to set up today that's definitely not going to be on a goal for today. Then uh, the other thing I've got up here is the rats table. We're going to be using Mech HQ's rats for a lot of stuff. But one of the things I really like about this one is if we scroll down here, it's uh, got the average distribution for light, heavy, uh, light, medium, heavy, and assault mechs. So because we're going to be doing a merc, that bit right there I think is going to be real useful for us. And it just that's not part of Mech HQ, so we're going to be simulating that here. I've got a little dice here. We'll do that when it comes across it because today we're going to spend most of our time setting up our company is it a company yeah yeah company because it goes lance which is four mechs company which is three lances and then a uh, battalion which is three companies right that's the basic generic obviously you get variations but that's the meat uh Bread and butter. I was going to say meat and gravy, but bread and butter. That's the bread and butter of it. Then I've also got Sarna here, which I'm going to try not use because it's got ads. But if we ever need to quickly search something up, we've got Sarna here too in the background. So yeah, all right. Let's start our new campaign. Right. So yeah, as I said, I've only been using this uh, Mech HQ for a couple of days. It is free for everyone if you just want to go try it yourselves. Though it is, does take a wee bit of getting used to. Um, so far I've used it to play a campaign and I managed to get my first contract. And I was doing my first contract, did my first battle. But that's where two, I had two hiccups, which I'm not sure what I did wrong. 
uh, somehow managed in that first battle, I had one of my lances twice. So it was like I had one of my lances and I had a, sec a co second copy of it somehow. I don't understand what happened there, how I managed that. I definitely didn't do it intentionally. And the other thing is I managed to win the battle and I came out of it. And then when I advanced time, I was like, oh, you didn't do the battle. Your employers aren't going to be too happy about that and you're going to get a minor breach of contract. And I was like, what? But I did do the battle and I won. So I don't know what I did wrong there again. But yeah, but so if you do know what I did wrong or you see what I'm doing wrong, definitely let me know down below. But yeah, January, we'll just do January the 1st, 3025. Boom. We used official ATB against the bot options. Release 2. Boom. Uh, what should we call this? What should we call our group? We're going to be mercenary. Yep. Let's change us. We'll be red. We'll make us red. And I don't have any unit icons. We'll need to put our own one in if we want one. But we can just do that another time. Um, I need to think of a name. Now, I did look up a guide that said some recommended stuff to change in here, but I can't remember much of what that guide was recommending to change, actually. I do remember one part that was actually really important in maintenance, and it's uh, they normally recommend you turn maintenance completely off for your first couple of playthroughs, but I don't think we're going to turn it completely off. I think we're just going to make it a lot less harsher. Because I heard like a lot of new people to the game, well, to the software, really complained that the maintenance was really harsh and they were getting more damage done to their mechs from maintenance than they were from the battles. So if we stick that to 90, hopefully that nerfs it enough. Because I can't remember which way this is good or bad. Is taking a one away from it or bad or is giving it one bad? So we want to log maintenance rules and the log files. We'll change that. So we'll make that a wee bit. We'll be a wee bit fairer on ourselves there. And I still need to think of a name for this campaign. I had one. I was like, right, we're going to call ourselves this. And then now I've completely forgotten it coming in. It's completely... Uh, skipped my mind. Right. I think we're happy just leaving everything else as default. Get type against the bot, against the bot, skill level, campaign rules, use rat generator, use traditional rat, I think we'll just use the rat, what's the difference between, the rat generator is basically just a table that simulates, you know what, I could just uh, show you here in this one, it simulates uh, a market so to speak. If we come down, da, 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 right, here we are. So mechs in the Star League regular army. So if you were playing a Star League era campaign in 20, two, 2070. If you were playing about six, 600, 700 years in the future, roughly, um, and you are playing in the Star League, then you wanted to randomly generate some mechs, you just come to this and you'd say, right, a D1000 for light mechs. I've only got a D20 here. So if I have to, I did it three times, um, you'd get your three numbers. Say we rolled 666, you'd come down to 666. That would be the Firefly 3A, which is a fairy tonner. So that's what it means by rats, just for people that don't know. And uh, this one here specifically, we've got this one. I think this one, I wouldn't quote me, but I think this one is the Zito one, which is sort of halfway between fan-made and... Uh, official canon it is technically not canon but it was made by one of the early offers or something i can't remember exactly who he was but it was someone that was actually made battletech in the early days i think it was an offer don't quote me on that and he used all the official information and then just filled in the bits that were blank with information that made sense so it's sort of like 80 percent canon you could say 20 percent it's sort of and from what I've seen in the community, it's sort of considered like unofficial canon. So it's, <laughs> it's unofficial canon. I know that doesn't make sense, but it is generally considered really good, these rats tables. Right. Back here we go. See, we did that. I think that's all fine. Right, just to see, I think 
we're good on everything else. And we don't care about clan, we're too early for that. Variable tech, we'll just leave that as standard. Finances, clan tech price modifier, pay for repairs. Should that be ticked? I don't know. I would have thought so. Would have thought you would have had to pay for repairs? Yeah, uh, 20% of the price list. Because it's my first time, we're going to leave that unticked, but I think that should be ticked. But it's not part of the default, so I don't want to go making things even harder when I don't know how well we're going to do. It, uh, you know what we're just going to do? No, I need to. We're going to call this then. And then when we give a name to our mercenaries, we're just going to call them placeholder and then I'm going to take recommendations. Because I had a name, rare and ready to go, but I've forgotten it. Yeah, but I've got a lot to think about here. Um, I'd be surprised uh, if we get into a battle this first part and make the first part a wee bit longer as always. But yeah. Now, I think it's going to take us that long just setting things up that we are going to be yeah, dealing with it. So that's us into the game proper, or oh, game proper, but yeah, not the game. Um, so we've got all our time first. Oh, uh, right. First thing we're going to do, GM mode, because as you see right now, we start off with no money, no nothing, nothing. Absolutely bugger all. It starts you off with zero zilch. It's gratis. Because your main meant to sort of design your own starting point. So we're going to go into finances and then we're going to add funds as GM. Eh, Rich jungle, let's change that to life. Savings. And add ourselves a million in sea bills. A million sea bills. Boom! There we go. We use GM mode to add ourselves a million sea bills. Once we've got the stuff started, I plan to turn GM mode off and then we're not going to touch it. Yeah, we're not going to touch it. We're going to sort of like Iron Man mode it, so to speak, if it was another game. Like GM mode will be getting turned off and staying off. We're not going to be cheating. Right. Now that that's done, let's uh, find out who we are. Now, as I said, we've got the, a time of war. We don't have the time to do this. This would probably take a full part if we were going to go in and generate our own commander. Uh, which we may do, and then we may just retcon our commander to be this person, if you desire that. Um, I think that might be a good idea, but I also think it would be a good idea just to get the mech HQ stuff out of the way first. Um, and get the mechs up, set up, and all that stuff, and yeah. So we can go back and retcon our commander to whoever this is. But for first of all... Right, let's go to Marketplace and let's just gonna hire ourselves a Mech Warrior. And uh, so there we go, we got our first one. This will be our commander. And seeing as it's our commander, what rank should they be? Mm, you know what, we're gonna do none for now. So what's the name? This is just a random name a wee bit. Uh, Sahan I can easily pronounce Rika Rivera. Mm. The Rivera doesn't come off my tongue nicely. Angela, okay. I want Sahan that I'm not gonna get in trouble pronouncing. Patsy Griffin. There we go, Patsy Griffin. Randomized portrait about I want our commander. I just I just want someone that speaks commander to me. Maybe that person. Ah, that'll do. Oh, choose portrait. I should have just went to choose portrait. Right, and then we'll just add. Instead of higher, we'll add, but we're also going to have to edit them because they're going to be our commander. Yeah, and it was going to have them be really green, right? So they're founding member. They're not a clanner. Uh, female, origin Galatea. Give them a call sign, Catman, Roller. Um, okay. Oh, actually. 
Anyway, no, 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 yeah, yeah, their skills are actually really bad for a mech warrior, that is. I was getting confused there because it was that low. What is going on? The other campaign, I don't think I've seen anyone that bad off the get-go. Damn, they're bad, pilot. Right, our commander should be at least veteran level, I would think. And I'm trying to remember the guide. The guide recommended you gave them... I can't remember if it was one in tactics, strategy, and leadership, or it was one, two, one of them. We're just going to give them one in each. Give them one in each. Oh, wait, maybe it's because we haven't hired them yet. Maybe that's why the stats were so low, because I think the software does go, right, this is your first ever pilot, so this will be your commander, and it gives them a wee stat boost. put them to that and I think that'll be fine for us starting off. They're 22 years old, they've got founding member which the guide I was reading, it recommended you give all your, the guide I was reading was for a company and it was uh, 12 mech warriors, give them all founders so they're more likely to stick around once they retire, stuff like that. But I think we're just going to give our founding the first three. So, like, our overall commander, then the leaders of our other two lances, I think we're going to give them founding positions. Just them. So, yeah, there we go. We'll hit OK for that. And we'll have add as GM. Alright, so if we come to personnel, we can see Patsy Griffin, their veteran. They would have been the very green, I think, before. Yeah, before they would have been the very green, but now they're veterans, so that's good. Right, ranking system. Let's use the Federated Sun one. Now let's see ranks. Right, Lieutenant Colonel. That's a battalion commander, I think. I think we are captain for a company. Yeah, I think that's... Like a basic mech warrior, I think, is a sergeant. We'll do lieutenants, I think, for our other two. So you'll do major for us. Uh, sergeants for our lance. Uh, yeah. So. No, captain. Okay, we'll do captain for us. the captain for us. Captain for us. Right, now let's add our officers. Right. Boom. Boom. Right, change rank. Da, 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 da. Uh, okay, we're just going to put us back to the Star League because I was thinking if it could change it for everyone all at once. Right, change rank to none. Star League, good. Rank, let's give us... We'll do captain still. And these two change rank. We'll put one lieutenant senior. One we'll give Lieutenant Junior. So there's a sort of hierarchy between them. Then it recommended you gave them if we go to GM mode, we go to edit. Yeah, it recommended you gave them one to their pilot in or gunnery the guide I was looking at I need to see if I can find it again and link it down below for if you just want to read that guide too but to be honest I can't remember where it was it was just a comment somewhere there was a big comment on a site talking about how to play this game and I recommended you give it to the one that was worse since neither of them are worse we'll give it to gunnery but actually 5-5 five, five, they're already damn skilled I think we may just leave it at that because they're already damn good. 
then it was one to tactics, strategy, or leadership, and the fact that they've already got... Wait a minute. That's what we've done wrong here. Somehow we've got these mucked up. So you're meant to be that. There we go. Patsy, you somehow got swapped out there. Right, there we go. This is the person. This is the senior one. I was going to say, this looks oddly familiar. It's a person we've already edited. It was Patsy. Edit GM mode. Holy guacamole. Green. See, they're green. Okay. For the others, I think we're just going to let them be whatever rank we can get them. But for these guys, I think we should have at least four in skill. Then we'll give them... You can have one in strategy. And then you can have one. Edit. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 this person's a regular. And then the guide, this is what I was expecting from the first two. The guide then recommended you give one to the lower skill, which brings them back up. One to one of the skills down here. What did we do? We did strategy last time, or was it tactics? We'll do the leadership there on you because we definitely didn't do that on one of them there. Right, marketplace. Let's say higher bulk higher personnel. So that's just got three. So we need another nine mech warriors. We're not gonna put in a rank at all for them. Nine mech warriors. Higher, boom! Now let's see, let's get their skill level. Let's take these regulars. Change rank. They can be sergeants and then the green mech warriors can have their mech warriors on training so to speak right so we're getting there slowly but surely we've got our mech warriors sorted you can see i can imagine where as i said at the start we're going to make the first part of that wee bit longer as i always do just to make the first part of that easier to find in the youtube search engine but we're still almost halfway through and we're only here so yeah Right, okay, now we're gonna need some more staff now. Let's say hire ourselves, a bulk hire. Let's hire ourselves. Mech tech. We're not gonna give them a rank. Actually, you know what, we could just give them all ranks. Corporal, I think, yeah, we'll just make all the mech techs corporal. Let's hire one per mech. I'm not really, this is one of the places I'm not 100% sure where the, what's the word I was going to look for? Ah, uh, numbers. This is one, I'm not 100% sure the numbers were meant to be recruiting here. Like, uh, I think you can get away with a uh, two per, uh, I think you can get away with one for every two mech, but I'm just going to make sure every mech has its own uh, mech tech for now. Boom. And they're all corporals. Right, marketplace. Now let's hire some Aztecs. Bulk hire. And we'll hire two Aztecs for every person. So let's say. Uh, where's Aztecs? So the. Mech tech are kind of like your. I'm trying to think of how to. They're like the people in charge of your repair and this, that, and the next thing. So they're. A mechanic, but they're like have one foot in the mechanic sort of door, one foot in the sort of management sort of role, and then the Aztecs are just raw mechanics. So where's Aztec? Where are they? Aerospace, Vito, Soldier, Mechtech, uh, Aero, Aztec, there they are. We'll get 24 of them. give them a rank of private. Boom. 
Oh, fudge! I just... Ah! I had way too many. I hit the button twice. Wish it was an undo. Does it tell me how much that lasts? 408. Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna take- I'm just gonna fire them. I'm just gonna fire those last 24. You know what? We could do it per- We could cheat a wee bit. We'll cheat a wee bit. Yeah, we've got skill level. Ultra green Aztecs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh, we got to pay them all again. I don't think I've sacked people before, do I just... What am I doing? Got a personal who bought their, brought their units with, they must be given, you know, one day of departure. Yeah. Is that just okay? They didn't go. So I do have to move them over, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Yep, that is them. Why can I not get rid of them? Maybe it's just because I need to advance a day. Maybe it takes a day for them to disappear. Oh, wait, yeah, it's already here. It's retired, 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 retired. So I just need to advance a day and they'll disappear. Right. Now that that's done, who else do we need? We're going to need ourselves some medics. So, bulk higher. Where's medic? We'll get ourselves 10 medics, I think. That should be fine. Give them rank private. Boom. And we're not going to hit higher, higher again. What else do we need? We are going to need we'll hire one admin of command. Admin for logistics. Hire. One admin for you. One admin for you. Right, where are those? We just got to rank. None. How have we got a veteran mech warrior with no rank? Right. Change your rank then to sergeant. There we go. And I feel like the command one. We're gonna. Do, 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 do. I just realised something else we forgot to do. Change rank. I'm gonna put you to master sergeant and then these three to sergeant. So like the command one has seniority over the other three. Right. Now these flags, founder, flags. Founder. So yeah, so these guys have founding as well. And then we're also going to give our dropship, the guy in charge of our dropship, we're going to make him uh, like a high rank too and make him a founder as well. But we'll get to that soon. 
Right, I think we just need a doctor now. We'll probably hire two. And then we'll be getting on to vehicles. Doctor. We'll make them sergeant. We'll hire two. And I want to make them master sergeants. Now nah, just sergeant. Hire two doctors and sergeant. Yeah. I think that's us got the bulk of the personnel we want for our company. All the logistical needs for our three lances. See our command center, all the stuff that's going, our finances, you see why we added, look at that, we've went nearly through half our money already, just hiring staff, just our initial starting money from our founders. We're going to be adding the mechs as well, like, we're not buying them ourselves, we're going to be randomly generating them. So we'll get to that soon. Right, we'll go into purchase unit and then we're going to go dropship, medium dropship, we're already in the right thing. Union class, let's make sure we buy the right one. We're going to add it just as GM. And it's going to be our starting ship. Right. Make bees. Yep, this is it, I think. Just double check it's not the other ones. Oh, wait, I, oh, it could be this one as well. Right, that's the aerospace fighter one. What's the difference between this one? Combined arms. Still has room for 12 mechs. Infantry has two doors for free platoons. Cargo space, two doors, 359 tons of cargo. What's the difference in this one? This one has a lot more. This one has the two aerospace fighters and a lot more, 74 tons of cargo. That was, this one had even more cargo, didn't it? Yeah, 350. I think we want the more tonnage, to be honest. I think we want the more tonnage because we're not going to have... I don't know how much tonnage we're going to need to haul all our stuff, so I'm a wee bit scared. Consider 359 tons. By the time we get our free lances alone, that means we're basically going to have one ton to like one ton of mech to one ton of storage. So if we bought brought with us like one spare part for every single part of our mech we're already out of tonnage before we start taking salvage before we start taking other stuff so yeah i think we're going to want the bigger the one more storage and then we're just gonna have to screw the aerospace fighters for now that can be a concern for the future getting some fighters and some other combined arms that way and also we got we can take uh, the free foot platoon platoons if we ever want it as well all right so we'll add that as a GM. Boom. Right now, hangar. We're going to come in. Da, 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 da. We're just going to. Uh, there's a just a instant high or minimum competent. There we go. Boom. This person here. So if we come to. So. Elsie Halmer. Remember that. Gotta find that person. So go to rank, they'll be in the nun. Elsie Halmer. There you are. Rank, let's give you. Yeah, we've already got a senior lieutenant. Let's make you a junior lieutenant. And where are you down here? Let's make you a founder as well. So you brought the dropship. So basically our story for these people starting is that these four people that are the founders have been working together for a while. They've managed to save a wee bit of money together and they've managed to get a few other people. Oh, I suppose, should we make all the mech warriors? Because they're all bringing a mech. Mm. Nah, just these four. And the mech warriors signed on for potential future pay, not for initial pay because they've seen this new company start up and they're like, oh, this could be our chance. So maybe we got really lucky and somehow they just decided to pay us for free. Or maybe it was part of our starting money and I just didn't take it into account. And we've already spent it. The exact amount. So yeah, just yeah, these four people have been working together for a while. They're trying to break off and do their own little starting company now. So what was I looking for? Special flags, the founder. Giving them founder, uh, all it technically does is give them some shares in the company. The, the in the company in terms of 
Not the company is in the military term. Company is in the sort of legal, financial, business sort of term. There we go, business sort of term. Right, so now let's go to our ranks. We got here, so let's see. So we'll take the gunners. We'll give them Spacemen. We'll give the pilots. Petty officer. And the other crewmen. That's probably the second in command, isn't it? We'll give them chief petty officer. Right, I think that's all the personnel we need to hire. And we've even got ourselves our union dropship. Combined arms variant. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're over a normal part in length already. Right, let's see if we can get the foundations finished. Get the if we can get all the mechs sorted now and then get it organised into our group here. Which uh, new force. Uh, we'll just call them all Mylands so now till we see what we've got. Force and new force, and hopefully we can make a command lands, a battle line lands, and a scout lands. Though I have no idea what mechs we're going to get. We're going to completely randomise it, so the chances are things are going to be ugh, a little difficult till we start playing around, buy new mechs, get the money to buy new mechs, and do other stuff. And then we can fine tune. We may not go hard core into the fine tuning. We'll probably make if we get really, really far, we'll probably make our big characters, like our commanders, our, our commander, our people in charge. We may give them custom mix and spend time on stuff like that and then fine tune the or like uh, the composition of our lances, but for the most part we're not gonna min max, just maybe our command units kind of thing. Oh, that's one thing I really hope we, because it's mechs are random, I really hope we roll three command mechs. Having a command mech for each lance would be great. Something like an archer, um, a phoenix hawk for a scout lance. That, oh, please, please random generation, which actually we should probably go do now. So, GM tool dialogue. Yep, that's what we need. Now, this is also why I've got one dice here, and we've got stuff here. So we've got the raft, rat year, this is here, what we're mainly going to be using. But we're also going to have ba -ba -ba -ba, this here. So if we pull that up to there, so we can keep that here. We're going to be using the average distribution, because we're a merc. We're not going to be belonging to the Capellans, Draconis, anyone else. We're going to be a Merc. This is Ferry 25, right? Well, Ferry 28? Ah, close enough. We're Ferry 25. This is close enough. So if we, blah, 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 if we can just pull you down there, then we can bring you up so we can see you and pull you here at the same time. And now we're going to be using this dice roller here too because I have no idea what this is yet. What changes this? At first I thought maybe it gave you a better mech if it was like A star, but I think it has something to do with the maintenance. I think uh, like how de degraded the part is, the parts are, then once it gets to like a, uh, it falls off, I don't, like I assume F's the worst. Once it like goes down a tier of F, that's it broken. So I'm not really sure what this is. So we're just gonna be using a D6 here. Oh, we can I didn't realise we can change this to a D10. Oh, I don't need this anymore! I kind of want to use this though. It's fun to have a physical dice, you know what? I did not realise we could change change this to a D10. I thought I knew we could change the number of dice. Five. Five D10. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I knew we could do that, but I didn't realise we could change... It's a d20 I've got, so what I was just going to do is I was just going to roll it half it and round up. 
So, like, for example, I just rolled an 11, so that'd be a 6. And, yeah, I was then going to just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Right, there we go, D6. Let's get this started. We rolled a 2, so 1, 2. And then what type of mech are we going to roll? I'm going to use my physical dice because that's cool. Um, if I had a lot more time, I would have set up a little camera on a little box here so you guys could see the roll as well. But we've got a 16, which is an 8, which is a heavy. Oh, we're off to a good start. So, oh, quality is not the best, though. If quality works the way I think it works, I'm not sure, though. Let's roll for rat. we got an archer! Oh, yes! A command mech on our very first roll! Uh, the two Archer 2R. Um, oh, I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Let's go to our 2R Archer. Where are we? Pressure is done by weight. So we went too far. Quick draw. I've seen other heavy mechs. Uh, Thunderbolt. We're slightly heavier than that, are we not? Okay, we're not. Where's Archer? Catapult. Trebuchet. Okay, I'm. Maybe I should just find it. Control F it. I should control F it, but. I'm... That's that's why I did the wrong thing. Zero. Oh, that's helpful. That is just completely unhelpful. Why am I being blind here? So there's our thunderbolt. Is the archer not part of this tiaro? Oh, maybe it's not. Oh well, it's one of the archers. Let's just come to Sarna then. Archer. Go. The Archer! 2R, that's the variant we got, wasn't it? Da, 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 da. Yeah, the 2R, so it's the basic model. Which uh, has the two LRM20s, four medium lasers. That's going to be great for a command mech in either our, either our main command lance or a battle line lance. Well, maybe not a battle line lance, but it could be this fire support in a battle line lance. Yeah. That's great, we're off to a brilliant start, brilliant start! Good, 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 good. Right. Oh. There we go, that's what we need. Boom, pull this up. Right, three. And then uh, my handy dandy. Oh! Two! Oh, it's a little light wick. So it's gonna be, so we rolled a one because we got half it. So uh, da, 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 down to light. Roll for rat a wasp. Beggars can't be choosers, right? We got a wasp. That's two mechs down. We got another ten to go, right? We're gonna need to speed things up. We're meant to be calling it apart any second, and this would be a perfect part for us to do end it, so to speak. If we, uh, or maybe we should just. Mm. No, actually, because we've still got more stuff to do. We've got to assign and build the lances. So I suppose we'll keep going for now, and then next time we can finish off getting our mix, and then we can build our lances and, yeah, design our lances. That could take some time, depending on what we get. So let's just keep on going here. So we got a little wasp, 1A. Eh, eh. Right, we've got a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Got my dicey wicey here at 15, so that'll be another 8. Just rounding up, yeah, rounding up eight. That's that's, that's another heavy. We're doing, we're getting, we're doing quite good. Two heavies. We're getting quite lucky. Right, roll for rat. Another archer. That. This is going very different than my other one. So that's just got two command makes. When my little child runner did this, I got one command make. It was a phoenix hawk. So yeah, that's going. Yeah, okay, okay. Alright, next. Let's uh, roll this again. That, did that roll? I don't think we clicked off it. Oh well, it's better that time. <laughs> I don't know if that was a roll or 
not. Uh, 19! So half of that again, rounding up, that's... That's an assault mech! And we got an Atlas! We got a hundred, not just an assault mech, we got a hundred tonner! I feel guilty. I legitimately feel guilty right now. We did get a wasp, which is like, eh, uh, a wasp. Yeah, I expected our whole company just to be full of stuff like wasps and shadow hawks and other questionable things. So shadow hawks not that questionable. A wasp is okay. An atlas. That's yeah. We got a line breaker mech. That's interesting. Um, I do believe that we'll call this a part right here. Now, how many mechs is that we've added? If we... Hanger. We've done one, two, three mechs. Wait, what? Where's our other... Why do we only have one up? Oh. I think I forgot to hit the random unit on the archer. So we've only got one archer. Oh, mistakes were made. I'm not going to go in and... I could go in and add it, but you know what? I'm going to leave it as my fault. We lost an archer. And we were doing... To be fair, we had two archers, an atlas. We were already punching above. We'll see if we come in and we get nothing but, like, locusts, wasps, and, like, really light, weak, cannon fodder, worthless mechs. Like, urban... Oh, man. What if we get an urban mech? Oh, no. See if we come in and we get nothing like that. I'm going to regret this decision, but we're going to forget about that second archer. I'm going to say, I hope you've all enjoyed this. This has definitely been something different. As you have seen, it's a very sort of text-based game. Um, it does get into the actual battles, and it's like you're playing a tabletop battle game of Battletech, but it's going to take us at least another part till we get there, I think. Um, hope you've all enjoyed this. Definitely let me know if you want to see this continue because as I said, it's an experiment. I have no idea how far we're going to get or how well we're going to do. Um, and if you wanted to see the remaking our commander, at least our commander, maybe our, our other higher ups with the uh, little bookie here, let me know. But yes, hope you've all enjoyed this. Join me all again next time where we're going to continue this. I'll see you all there. Bye -zy bye.